On this first table, we have a couple of Jambija daggers and some Bullock daggers. Uh, Wakasashi, I think. I don't remember. Some straight-bladed cavalry swords that have saber-like hilts. Some actual sabers here. Uh, a replica of Tizona, which is one of El Cid's swords. A couple more sabers in there. A couple of katanas. Maybe a Wakasashi next to it. Some daggers. Uh, they look like Mangoshas, left-hand daggers. A couple of kukris. Uh, an Indian-style shield that was priced at 60 You can probably read some of these prices on there as I'm passing over. Most of the daggers were about 20 to $30. There's a couple maces. And I came back to show this other Indian shield with this very nice engraving upon it that was sold for 60 This next bit, we have two Roman oval shields, a couple of cast resin shield wall plaques, some LARPing weapons, a Roman scutum, bigger shield, curved, Helmets, that one was $80. Uh, you probably can catch some prices in here. Some World War II helmets. Various scabbards, most of those were between $10 and $20. And then we have some sword blanks. A lot of those were between $10 to $30, I think. If I remember correctly, they're usually in those price ranges. And we have some leather Lorica Segmentata, which I did not see the price on. On this next table, we had a variety of things from belts to, I think those were bayonets there. A sword cane, the dagger from 300 Rise to an Empire, cold steel scimitar at $120. I've seen them at different prices before. Here are some various bracelets and collectibles. There are mugs, a stormtrooper mask, wanted posters, and kids' backpacks. Look, we have Hello Kitty, a Batman in there. And some other collectible things here. I'm not sure what all these things were. I didn't really look much at them. I know there was some Frozen in there and some Iron Man. Whatever. Uh, other collectible things here. And then uh, we had some helmets from 300 and the Van Braces and Greaves from 300. And then on this table is some of the costumes for sale. Mostly dresses. You see that one was at 50, 60, 40 it looks like. Uh, and there's some more in packages there. Behind the packages, they had a lot out on display, so you can see what, kind of what they look like out of packages. That one was for 30 20 20 for those pants. Um, it looks like 29 or 39 I couldn't read that as I'm editing this. Uh, 35 20 So you see there's a lot of value in the costuming, too. If you know the catalog for Museum Replicas, you know most of those outfits are at least double those price. And this was one of the back tables that had a lot of... Odd smaller knives on it. That is a World War, no, not World War, uh, Civil War, I think, surgeon's kit. And various hats and small knives and such. A couple of still shots for you. Here's one table. You can see looking down at all the swords that were available. Next pick has a couple of curved Jambija daggers and a few Bullock daggers. A couple French straight-bladed cavalry swords with copper hilts and a few curved sabers with brass hilts. Next, from left to right, we have a couple of hangers, a wakasashi, a katana, a few mangoshes, a flamberge rapier, a rondel dagger, and a few viking swords. And a close-up of those swords that are similar to the viking era swords, although I think they're probably a modern hodgepodge. A closer view at a couple of the mangosh parrying daggers. From left to right, we have a couple bullock daggers, some maces, and some short sabers, more properly known as hangers. The last few picks were taken off the internet. Here's an above shot of the sale area of the warehouse, and the next few are of the showroom, all of which these picks I took offline because I forgot to take any picks of the showroom, and I could not get a pick from above. So you can see the kind of layout of the showroom, how they have swords on the wall, display cases, mannequins, with uh, costumes on it and various things. And then this last pick will be of some armor and helmets. That's all for this video. Hilson, and good night, folks.